All right, folks, I'm going to try to do a quick nuts and bolts approach to solving your integrated rate laws problems for the Schoology assignment I've assigned. Turns out uh, we're going to have to use Google Docs because uh, the uh, online version of Excel 365 is not feature rich enough to handle this. Um, you can download the apps. If you can get the desktop version, they're much better. They're, they work really well for this. We need to add trend lines into our Excel document, and you cannot do that with Office 365 online. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this with Google Docs. To do Google Docs or Google, Google Sheets, uh, you're going to need a, uh, a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, uh, you, you will automatically have access to Google Docs from the little uh, square menu up at the top right corner of your browser. Um, I'm in Edge and it's going to prefer to do Google Docs inside Chrome, but I'm doing Edge because I'm using a Microsoft uh, screen capture product and it works better this way. So uh, what we want to do is first have our integrated rate laws uh, assignment open. And I'm, I'm here on, say, question one for this example. I'm just going to show you how to get the data from the, the Schoology assignment into a spreadsheet. So it turns out that uh, we need, we're going to need some Google Docs. So I'm going to type in, I'm going to search Google, Google Docs. Of course, it's searching with Bing because I'm in Edge. And then uh, here's Google Docs. And uh, one way to do this is to open up a blank doc. Now docs with this blue icon are like Word documents, not Excel. But I need to do this for because uh, copying two columns straight into either online Excel or onto, into uh, Sheets in Google Sheets doesn't work. So I'm control Cing here. I'm doing control C to copy all that that I've just selected. By the way, the way I selected all this data was I left, I put my cursor up here left of the T. I left clicked. I dragged all the way down. And now I'm doing control C to copy that. And I'm getting over here into my untitled document. I'm doing control V. And if I'm patient, it should paste. And it pastes into two column format. Now I need to grab just oh well i need to create myself a, a google sheets spreadsheet so sorry i didn't show you how to do that let's go google docs and it's uh All right, it's not wanting to search for that. Well, these are this is the problem. Um, search for it on Bing. There we go. All right, Google Docs. Okay, now I don't want one of these blue icon things, which is a Word document, I like a Word document or a Word processor document. I want a spreadsheet like Sheets. So I want the green thing here. And um, I want a new spreadsheet. And in my new spreadsheet, I'm going to go, I need to go back to my document. I'm going to highlight what I need to paste, to copy and paste. I'm going to highlight here. So I left click and I try to keep only in the left column. So I've, I've selected down the left column and I'm going to do control, oops, oops, and all of them. So again, left click, drag down the left column. Try it again. Left click and drag down the left column only. Well, there. I'm going to unclick. It's highlighted all those. I'm going to press Control and C, and that copies it. So I can go over to my untitled spreadsheet, and I'm going to have cell A1 highlighted. I'm going to do Control V. That will paste. I have to be patient. It's doing everything through the cloud. 
things are slower when everything's cloudy. Uh, all right, so then I'm gonna I'm going to get to the left of the X here, and I'm gonna highlight. Oops, that didn't work. Get to the left. Push escape. Okay, I'm gonna get to the left here and highlight. Problems. Okay, let's try this again. There's a problem. There's some drop down thing there. Okay, I'm going to just highlight down this column. You might have been able to just do this uh, highlight column separately in your on your Schoology assignment. Here I am. I'm clicking the B2 because I want to paste here. I'm doing Control V. And it, it kindly lined them up. If it doesn't line them up, then you'll have to delete and add cells as, as needed to get them to line up because we need the X's, the, what's going to plot on the X axis of our graph to line up with what's going to plot on the Y axis of the graph. So that was a lot of work, but that's what you're going to have to do to get your data out of Schoology and into some kind of spreadsheet that has that's feature rich enough to put integrated, sorry, to put... Uh, to insert a trend line in there. Now, this is I'm just using this spreadsheet to show you how to transfer the data. I'm not going to work the data off of somebody's problem. So I'm going to go back here. I have already just now, woo, not that. Too quick. Got to be patient when everything's going through the cloud. Okay, here we go. We're back to Integrated rate laws demo. That's what I wanted. That's what I just created by taking some data from that I created just for this demo. All right. So I want to now highlight this data. I left clicked and dragged and there. It's catching up with me. It's working. Okay. So now what I want to do is with that data, I want to insert a chart. Actually, you know what? I need to back up on that because I need to process some data a little more before we create a chart. We'll create a chart in a second. Okay. I don't care about the, well, I do care about the edit history of the cell, but I've got it. This is not the chart I want. I want more to this chart than I created. So I'm going to delete this. I've just highlighted the edge of it. I've clicked on the edge of it, and now I'm going to push delete on my keyboard, and it's gone. Okay. I need to do, I need to, you, if you've watched the, uh, the integrated rate law, the basis in, and uh, for working in, with integrated rate laws. If you watch that video, which you should have before watching this one, you know that we need to check and see, check for a linear plot of various different things on the y-axis. And I'm putting in my headings for those different things, some of those different things. And uh, so again, we need to see, we need to make a plot of just x on the y-axis and t time on the x-axis or natural log of x on the y-axis and time on the x-axis and the reciprocal of x concentration on the y-axis and time on the x-axis and so I'm going to let Google Sheets do what Excel would do if I had the desktop version of Beaver also very good at this uh, you can tell it you're starting a formula in Google Sheets by putting a plus sign instead of an equal sign like you would in Excel and with that plus sign and after that it knows I'm giving it a formula so I'm going to put an LN and you can tell it's giving you a formula because it's telling you what the function does. I'm going to start a parenthesis with my keyboard and I'm going to click on the cell that I want for the value that needs the natural log of it taken and I'm pushing enter and that processed it. So now I'm going to push equals I mean sorry plus in and I'm going to put in one divided by and my Here's my concentration of X that I want the reciprocal of. So I'm going to click on that cell and it shows that cell over here and I push enter and it processes the data. All right. Now what I want to do is left click on C2 here and drag to D2 with with the click held down the whole time. And then I'm going to I'm going to put my cursor over here on the bottom right where this little dark square is and and my cursor is going to change from a pointer to that crosshairs and when I get the crosshairs I'm going to left click and drag and that brings fills 
uh, with the date it fills with the uh, process data all the way down. Okay, so um, now I'm ready to insert a chart. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to A1. I'm left clicking and dragging all the way down to D, whatever this is, the bottom of the column. And now I want to go insert a chart. And I want you to notice uh, that it's 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 chart type. It, it popped me up a window here for chart editor, and the chart type has turned out to be a line chart. But that's not what we want. We want we want a scatter plot. So here's a scatter. That's what I choose. X does have time. That's correct. And there are three different series on the y-axis, and that's good. And so uh, let's see. We're all good. We're good so far. Now. I can already see that this yellow thing, these, the data plotted as these yellow dots, is not linear. And I'm looking for a linear plot. So I want to get rid of the 1 over x. So I know this is not a second order reaction. So I'm going to, this reaction is not second order with respect to x. So, oops, I lost my editor, my chart editor window. Where's my chart editor window? Um, Let's see if I click these dots, if it gives me, okay. If I click those three dots, it gives me my chart editor window. As I was saying, I want to get rid of this one over X series of data because I know it's not linear. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to click on the three dots, click remove, it's gone. Now of the two remaining, I can tell blue is not linear all the way, whereas red appears to be. So I'm also going to get rid of the blue, which is the just X series, not the natural log of X series. I'm that that leaves me this line now I need the equation for the line and I also like to confirm for myself that there really really is a straight line now that um, I want to add a trend line let's see how do I add a trend line um, what happens if I click here hmm trend line okay I've scrolled up and down in my in my editor window here and I found trend after clicking on those data points so just let me just say these were not highlighted I cl left clicked on them and uh, I go over here and I say uh, edit edit chart they pops me up my chart editor I click on these I left click on these dots and then I scroll down over here and I get the option to add a trend line and it says linear which is what I want and this is the line color which matches the uh, data data uh, labels and then um, under label it says use equation I want that and then it says show r squared I also want that I'm going to talk about what this means okay so according to this I don't know if you can see it here we have the equation for the line right there and we have the r squared equals one i'm going to type up something here i want to type up that this means this is what it's telling me it is saying one divided by sorry it's not either saying that it's saying the natural log of concentration of x which is what's plotted on the y-axis is equal to negative 0.0377 x plus uh, 0.868 that's the equation that it's giving me for the line and if somebody gave me now I want you to realize that this is actually uh, since uh, natural log of x is my y value, then this must, over here, this 0.868 must be my, it should have been, my uh, natural log of uh, the y, of uh, it should be my y-intercept, which should be the natural log of the initial concentration of a. It turns out it's a little off from what I calculated over here, unfortunately. And this should be my slope, negative 0.0377. And so my slope in such a case is negative k. And so this is a negative slope. So k would be, in this case, 0 0.0377.
And uh, if I if somebody gave me time, time is what's plotted on the x-axis, so I could put the amount of time if they wanted me to check out something at 780 seconds, I could put in 780 for x and multiply it by my slope and add this 0.868, and I would find the natural log of the concentration of x at that time. Now, I, I don't want the natural log. The question is probably going to ask me what is the actual concentration of x, not the natural log of it. So what do you do to get rid of natural x, natural log of x? To get rid of the natural log, you're going to have to do e to the power. So e to the power of both sides. And um, that will let you solve for uh, the, that will let you solve for the x value by itself. That took a long time. I'm going to show you demo two. Demo two, same thing. Actually, I'm going to save myself a little time. I have already created what I need over here in these top four cells, so I'm going to I'm going to highlight those and do Control C to copy. And I'm going to switch over to Demo two. I clicked on it, the tab down at the bottom. I'm going to click up here in C1 and do Control V to paste. And there, it has already done the calculations for me. And I'm going to highlight those two cells and then I'm going to find my darkened square here where I get the crosshairs and hold my left button down and drag and that will get me the autofill. We do the same process again. I'm going to highlight all four cells. I'm going to say insert chart. It's giving me a line chart again. I don't want a line chart. I want a scatter plot. So I'm clicking scatter. It changes it to a scatter. Well, hard to say. It kind of looks like this is the linear one, but it's hard to say. In any case, I'm going to try to, I can't even see the blue one. I can't even see the, I, I'm going to, I, I'm, I guess what I could do is I could uh, click on the yellow and now I'm going to get the option to add a trend line. I clicked on the love. You see how the yellow dots are circled with blue circles. I'm going to click on trend line here. I'm going to say that I want it to lab be labeled with the equation and I would like to see the R squared value and the R squared value turned out to be one. If you want to try it again, I could click on the red. Let's click on the red. And now we're dealing with that one. I could go uh, add a trend line there. I'm going to want the label for that one. Use the equation show our squared value and for that one oh it seems that uh for the red one the r squared is only 0.51 so it is not linear when r squared equals one that means it's a perfect fit with the trend line and the trend line is supposed to be linear so if it's a perfect fit and the trend line is linear then that's your that's your data so that you want to use so i'm going to delete i'm going to right, right click on these red dots and i'm going to uh actually let's see there should be a way to delete this data. Let me go back uh, over here. And so I've gotten rid of my chart editor window. I'm going to edit chart here. Notice I don't want the red one. The red one is natural log of X, so I'm going to remove it. I've already established that the, the oh, now, now what was my yellow one is turned into my red one. And uh, it's, it's still showing it's got the R squared value of one. I could check the blue one to see if it's got, so I'm clicking on the blue data labels. That's gonna give me trend option for a trend line. I'll say, show the equation, label, use equation, and show the R squared value. And again, look how bad that R squared value is. It's way off from R squared equals one. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna click back over here I'm going to say edit chart and see if it changes my chart editor window. Um, let's see. No, it didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to click off in the middle of this cell and try to get back over here to where my three dots are again. And do edit chart from here. And I've established I want to get rid of these blue ones, which are the just the plain old X and I want to remove them well what happens if I right click here 
can't do it. Okay, let me try this again. I'm going to, I clicked back on the, in the space here, which got rid of my editor window. I'm going to go back and uh, do edit chart. And I know I want to get rid of the X y series for the Y value. So I'm, so I've deleted that. Now I'm down to my, my one linear plot and I have the equation for the line. And I want to point out that what this is saying is, it is saying one divided by, um, brackets x equals 3 x and then it's plus 0.398 now again in Excel I was not experiencing this small error but I'm seeing that the 0.398 here is not quite exactly matching the reciprocal of the original value 2.4 but in any case um, we're, we'll be able to use this equation for this line um, this is the equation for the line and you want to uh, you want to use that for all your calculations going forward I'm going to check something here really fast um, I have a hunch about something okay notice it's highlighting the data values as I hover over a data point okay here I am back at the X series and let me make sure well I was looking to see if it was trying to force the line to go through zero which it should not be doing which might account for the error in the equation for the line um, in any case that's how you can get the equation for the line here now the fact that that the plot that turned out linear was the plot of 1 over x on the y-axis and time on the x-axis shows you this is second order of react reaction with respect to variable to uh, reactant x and so uh, you know if somebody gave you the time you put it in as your x value and then you would uh, your small x here what's plotted on the y-axis you'd put it in here at three times that time then add your 0.398 and that would equal to the reciprocal of the concentration at that time so you'd have to take the reciprocal of both sides to find the concentration